Yo, no intro, it's me, Dwayne Blues Blogger, coming at you. Remember, subscribe to my channel. Today, I'm doing something different. I haven't done a cooking video in a long time, and uh, my buddy Mike Campbell, also known as my music producer, he uh, he sent me a link the other day to smoke uh, pineapples wrapped in ribs. So, we're going to do that. So, first, uh, first, We've got our pineapple already skinned. Leave the lid, leave, leave the leaves on. We've got two of them. Okay, we've got our ribs. What uh, I, I don't take the fat off. I just score them so that uh, the fat flows through. Okay. There, so they're scored. All right, so now the fun part begins. So I made my my homemade barbecue sauce, uh, just finished it actually. It is, uh, what is it? Ketchup, apple cider vinegar, Worcestershire sauce, uh, paprika, kick, uh, I'll write down all the ingredients on the website. So I'm just gonna pour some in a bowl. Now since we're doing this, why not have a little fun with it? Right? So, I think I'm going to take a bourbon. We're going to use some Jim Beam. And we're just going to put a shot of Jim Beam in this uh, sauce. There we go. Oh, that looks so good. You know what? If you're going to put it in the food, you might as well drink it too, right? So, salute. Yeah, I'm not a bourbon fan, but it's good on food. So now we're going to mix the bourbon up a bit. So we've got a runny mixture here. All right, so the bourbon's all mixed in. Now what we do is we paint. Cover the uh, pineapple juice in this stuff, or pineapples in this stuff. It's going to be fucking amazing, by the way. Smoker is already sitting out there started. It's We're trying to get to about 220, 2.30. We're going to leave her for about four or five hours. Okay, so there's, there's one. Isn't that pretty? Dressed up. So now go to our... Now go to our ribs. So what we're going to do is we're going to rib site. I'm going to put some uh, some homemade spice rub on it. Oops, using the brand new one. It shouldn't be. It should be using the old stuff first. Remember, first in, first out. Okay, so you're going to put your rub on there, dab it in. You don't have to be. Uh, you know, you don't have to be scarce with it. I've got, I think I've got enough that I could really do a good job on it, but uh, my spice has got cayenne, onion salt, garlic salt, salt pepper, Mrs. Dash. Uh, what else is in there? Uh, uh, paprika. Yeah. So you get them all over. I've got, I cut off the uh, folds in my ribs, so uh, I always just throw them on anyway, throw them on the, in the smoker, and uh, I have a snack later. And then today I'm going to try something different, because this is a bottom bone, and uh, it's a pain in the ass to cut up when it's cooked, so I decided I was going to cut the bone off, and that's how I ended up cutting my finger. But uh, yeah, we'll just sprinkle some of this crap on here too. And on the other side. Oh, I guess I'm out. Okay. Do uh, the entire thing in it. Okay, flip them. Do the other side. Going to take some skewers. And we are going to wrap this puppy 
right up into this. So I'm gonna make a mess like crazy, but I I gotta clean it up anyway, so it's okay. So we're gonna go bone side against the rib or against it. Okay, so then we will keep it tight so that you get all that flavor locked in. Take your oop shite slipping on me. That's almost a two-person job. Okay. Fuck off, you bastard. You know what? That pissed me off. I'm just fucking it. Alright, so then we'll take this. Skewer it. Skewer it. Ow, fuck. It's a bitch to push through, punch through there, but we got it. Okay. There we go, just like that. Isn't that neat? Kind of cool. Put that one aside. I'm going to take some uh, tin foil. And we are going to apply the tin foil around this puppy. So we just lift it up, put it there, wrap it. What this is going to do is it's going to hold in all the oil, or all the all the oils and and juices, and help it along a little. Throw it on this tray and take it out to the barbie. You're just gonna let it sit straight up like that. If we can get it to sit straight up like that when it's out there. Let's hope. Yeah, well. Okay, so now do the second one. Now we're gonna take our stuff out to the uh, to the uh, smoker, and I'll be right back. So. Doing a trip to Oklahoma, and in Oklahoma, smoked um, bologna is a big deal. So we're actually going to do that today too. I'm just, I'm just going to use the same barbecue sauce. Um, in order to prepare your bologna, you just uh, open her up, scored about a quarter inch. Oh, maybe not. I'm just gonna take this part off. Yeah, I gotta take that part off. Ah, oh, sorry. New, new at this. All right, so now you score it on an angle, just so that the barbecue and the rub will uh, will all just melt into that that uh, bologna. All right, so she's all scored evenly. Try and put an X and O, or an X, you know. All right, so now, I take some barbecue sauce. Coat the puppy in barbecue sauce. Do the ends too, right? Make sure you do the ends. Because um, you want it all soaked in... Uh, Barbecue sauce. By the way, this barbecue sauce is amazing. I hit it on the first try when I made it, and I've used this the third time I'm using it. I like it. I like it a lot. 
And like I said, I will put the uh, directions to make it on my in my descriptions. Oh yeah, I forgot there's bourbon in here. I'm mean, just like I can smell bourbon. That's the bartender in me. Okay. All right. So now, oh, it's not quite done. I gotta get this part. Um. All right. So now. We want to get that bark on it. So what we're going to do is, guess what? We're going to use the rub and put the rub all over it. If you, if you have to, pat it, don't smear it. And it is just going to sit in the... Uh, in the smoker with the, the pineapple rib. Um, that's all that's gonna happen. And later on, when we're closer to the end, we're gonna smoke some uh, corn on the cup. It's a full meal tonight at the, in Dwayne's World. I love doing it too, it's fun. It's interesting. And smoking now that I've started, I'm finding really fun because basically I don't have to do anything. I sit out there with the smoker, make sure it stays up to temperature, and drink beer. The job I was always suited for, folks. The job I was always suited for. All right, so I'm gonna go run this to the smoke. All right, welcome back to Dwayne's World uh, Booze and Blogger here. I've had a lot to drink today because, well, it took five or six hours of uh, smoking. So that's what you do. You drink while you're waiting for it. So I had a problem where my, um, had a problem where the uh, ribs kind of stalled out. And that happens sometimes when you're smoking, I guess. It happens to me all the fucking time. Anyways, I couldn't get it to 160. So basically what I did is at about 140, after six hours in the smoker, I peeled it off our, our pineapple. And what I did was I just threw it in the oven to finish getting it to temperature, which it is now 180, which is 20 degrees better than you need it. So, and they look really, really good. Um, the bark on them is absolutely amazing. Uh, so I'm pretty happy with this uh, now and we've got uh, so we've got some corn on the cob and we've got some uh, potatoes uh, big potatoes and, uh, and some uh, pineapple look at the pineapple the char on the pineapple is absolutely amazing. So now what we're going to do is we're going to cut the ribs and uh, and plate it. Plate. Oh, by the way, the uh, the bologna, look at that. That is smoked bologna. I've already been eating it. It is absolutely phenomenal. All right, so what we're going to do up now is we're going to cut the ribs. All right, so we've got our ribs all cut up. And now what we do is I'm going to cut the leaves off of the pineapple and then I'm going to cheat. I'm going to take the pineapple and I'm going to get my quarter. Okay, so I'm going to take the quarter and cut out the core and we're going to just do this. What you want to do is um, you want to take some uh, some of your corn, right? And uh, take your corn. And what I like to do is I like to take 
uh, some butter and microwave it first. I take my melted butter, right? Just was in the microwave for like 30 seconds or so. And um, I grab some uh, garlic powder. Just a little bit. Oh, that might be a little too much, but you know, I like garlic, so it doesn't matter. Um, and then we want to take a little bit of uh, chili powder. Throw that in there. And then we're going to take some paprika. Paprika. And then we're going to throw that in there as well. Okay, then what we're going to do is we're going to um, mix it all up. Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay, so you just mix it all up. It is all mixed up, nice and warm. Spread it on the uh, corn. It's uh, pretty amazing. Okay. All right. So there's the there's my butter concoction on my corn. We can make this plate really pretty. Like you can take the flour from the uh, pineapple and you can add some pineapple slices. Like just take some pineapple slices, throw it around the edge. That should do. And then take some, uh, some of your rib. God, that's hot. And throw your ribs there, and you've got a very nice plate. Just a sec, I gotta rinse my hands off. That's the problem with cooking, eh? Is you're constantly washing your hands. Um, oh, and then we get our uh, we get our baked potato. So we take our potato, which has been done in the air fryer because I just ran out of ideas. Uh, so now we split her in half. Oh, we listen to my cat meow. And then we, uh, some, uh, I'm just going to throw margarine on it because I've used, uh, a whack of butter as it is. So just uh, a little bit of margarine, put it in between the, uh, pieces get it nice in there nice and hot it'll all melt it'll all melt in so it'll be perfect and then grab some uh, uh, cheese I use uh, I'm just gonna use uh, double cheddar today but I use whatever I have on hand and you can do that uh, it's going to be really, really good if I can open the bag. That's the problem. Uh, this is a drunk test, right? You spend all day smoking your food, and then you got to try and open a, a bag. <sighs> good luck. All right, so then you pour some cheese in there, in the potato, right? And now what I do is I throw the potato in the microwave for about uh, 10 seconds, 15 seconds. Shit, it's pretty hot. But then again, it's a hot potato. Who knew, eh? Um, okay, and we grab some sour cream and we put a dollop in there. And voila, our supper is complete. Sour cream makes everything, makes the world go around, by the way. And this is your fancy old pineapple rib, corn on the cob, baked potato. Oh, I forgot the most important part of the baked potato. Cannot have a baked potato without a little bit of green onion. Alright folks, 
Voila! One smoked meal. Took six hours, but uh, it's gonna be worth it. Uh, what's the rib like? Oh my God, that's amazing. And the rest of the meal will fall in the same. I love the, uh, I love the pineapple. It's still got all the spices from before. And, um, mm. So good. Anyway, so there you go. One smoked meal. It was pineapple wrapped on, wrapped in uh, ribs with some uh, corn. Got a big potato. You're good to go. Oh, and I took about six beers. Seven, maybe. I don't know. On a couple of other alcoholic beverages. But anyways, take care of yourself. Subscribe to my channel. And uh, don't be a fucking asshole.